This week marks 50 years since the passage of the Federal Clean Water Act, the goal all along, eliminating pollutants from our waterways to not, not only preserve wildlife, but also protect human health. Well, new studies show companies continue to dump harmful pollutants into the nation's waterways. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas lives near the Poudre River up in northern Colorado. Dylan, advocates say it is time to toughen up those old rules. Yeah, Jim, they say that 50 years after the Clean Water Act was adopted, beautiful rivers like this one right behind me, the Poudre River, should be nearly clear of toxins. But instead, studies have found that toxic chemicals are still seeping their way into our waterways. In 1972, the Clean Water Act was supposed to help eliminate harmful chemicals from rivers. And that's really a bedrock piece of environmental legislation designed to clean up our nation's waterways. And instead, here we are, 50 years out, and recent data reported to the EPA shows that in Colorado, industrial facilities dumped over 1.3 million pounds of toxic chemicals into Colorado's waterways. Some chemicals that leak into our rivers by industrial companies can not only damage the ecosystem, but also harm humans. Some chemicals, especially nitrate compounds, were found to cause cancer, reproductive harm, and even developmental delays. Alex Simon of the Colorado Public Interest Research Group says those chemicals are still being leaked here in Colorado. So we see that despite the protections and the intent of the Clean Water Act, there's still a large amount of dumping of toxic chemicals across the state in Colorado. Currently, the scope of the Clean Water Act is being reviewed by the Supreme Court, which some say could reduce the amount of waterways protected rather than increase the number which Simon wishes to see. Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser has written support of strengthening the protections. Our children, our residents deserve access to clean water, to swim in, to drink, and to enjoy, and it's time to stop this reckless dumping. Interestingly, one major contributor to water pollutants is actually meat packing facilities, which here in Weld County is a major employer in this area. In a statement to, CD, uh, to CBS, CDPHE, the Department of Public Health, said they continue to work with entities like the Department of Natural Resources and Parks and Wildlife to protect waterways and also with treatment companies to make sure that the water is safe for those of us here in Colorado. Reporting live in Windsor, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Dylan, thank you. Pretty scene behind Dylan tonight, huh? You know, Dylan lives and works in northern Colorado, really knows the territory. If you have a good story idea for him, give us a call, 303-863-TIPS, or drop him an email through cbscolorado.com.